Thank you, Mr Speaker. Ron Mackenzie of the Road Haulage Association's Policy Director gave evidence to the Scottish Parliament in which he highlighted a no-deal Brexit scenario where lorry drivers would be forced to rely on ECMT permits, of which the UK has been allocated around 4,000, when despite more than 40,000 being required and effectively stopping the best part of 90% of companies trading with Europe. So what assurances can the Minister give us here today for traders and haulagers that they will experience minimal disruption? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, as the Honourable Gentleman knows, we've been working flat out to engage with businesses to uh, provide easements on the customs regime up to July next year and make sure that we minimise um, the uh, challenges as we end the transition uh, period. But of course, what Scottish businesses raise with me is the biggest threat to their trade isn't any friction as we move to the new settlement on the EU border. It's the fact that 60% of all Scottish exports go to England, Wales and Northern Ireland, more than the rest of the world combined. And it's that and the threat the Honourable Gentleman poses to Scottish business in that way that really worries them for the long term.